Welcome to RenéEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. Welcome back to RenéEnergy.com, the hub for renewable energy enthusiasts and professionals alike. Today, we're delving into a topic that's been generating a lot of buzz but is also surrounded by questions, green hydrogen. As many of you already know, green hydrogen has the potential to revolutionize our renewable energy systems. But the elephant in the room has always been its cost. So, how close are we to making green hydrogen not just a clean but also a cost-effective fuel option? Stick around as we dissect the numbers, the policies, and the future prospects of green hydrogen. Number 1 Introduction – Setting the Stage for Green Hydrogen Today, we're turning our focus toward one of the most promising yet elusive elements in the clean energy sphere, green hydrogen. Often hailed as the Swiss Army knife of renewable energy, green hydrogen has the potential to redefine how we think about clean fuel. Imagine a world where excess wind and solar power doesn't go to waste but gets stored as green hydrogen for future use. Picture sectors like heavy industry, aviation, and even your own home running on this versatile, zero-emission fuel. But, let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a reason why green hydrogen hasn't flooded the market yet, its cost. The technology behind it, mainly electrolyzers, doesn't come cheap. And let's not forget the additional expenses of building the infrastructure for storage and distribution. However, the winds of change are blowing. Legislative measures, like the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022, are coming into play, offering tax incentives that could make green hydrogen more affordable. In today's episode, we're going to dissect how these financial mechanisms work and whether they can finally make green hydrogen a key player in the renewable energy game. So, stick around, because you won't want to miss this. Number 2, The Inflation Reduction Act of 2022, A Game Changer? In the summer of 2022, the U.S. Congress passed a landmark bill, the Inflation Reduction Act, or IRA for short. With an estimated budget of $369 billion aimed at addressing energy security and climate change over the next decade, this act is nothing short of revolutionary. But what has caught our attention is the IRA's lucrative set of tax credits for clean energy technologies, including green hydrogen. Specifically, Producers can receive up to $3 per kilogram of hydrogen produced for the first 10 years of operation. And here's the kicker, if you're using renewable electricity to produce this hydrogen, you're eligible for both sets of tax credits. That sounds amazing on paper, doesn't it? But what do these numbers mean in the real world? Can these financial incentives actually tip the scales and make green hydrogen cost competitive? We've crunched the numbers, and what we found may surprise you. According to our analyses, the IRA can almost have the cost of green hydrogen production for projects initiated this year. However, the benefits dwindle over time, meaning projects starting closer to 2030 will see far less financial relief. It's a step in the right direction, but will it be enough? In the next segment, we'll be exploring what these legislative measures mean for different sectors, including transportation, where the rubber truly hits the road. Number 3, Beyond Production Costs, Infrastructure and Distribution We've talked about how the Inflation Reduction Act could slash production costs, but that's just one part of the equation. When we consider turning green hydrogen into a viable fuel source, there are other expenses that come into play. For example, let's focus on the road sector. You see, it's not just about producing green hydrogen, it's also about building and operating the hydrogen fueling stations. Our calculations indicate that these additional costs could add roughly $6 per kilogram of hydrogen, pushing the total price to at least $9 per kilogram at the pump, even after accounting for IRA credits. And let's not forget about vehicle costs. Fuel cell vehicles, or FCVs, are making strides in efficiency, but their upfront cost can be double that of a conventional diesel truck. That certainly factors into the overall economics of green hydrogen. So, is green hydrogen only feasible for sectors that are hard to electrify, like long-haul aviation and shipping? Or can it actually become the fuel of the future for our cars and trucks? These are questions that we need to answer as we aim to establish a fully-fledged green hydrogen economy. Number 4. The Efficiency Factor – Green Hydrogen versus Battery Electric So far, we've concentrated on the financial side of green hydrogen. But there's another element that's just as crucial – energy efficiency. Producing green hydrogen from renewable electricity involves conversion losses of about 30%. Now, that may not sound like a lot, but it accumulates and can significantly impact the final cost and energy footprint. When we compare green hydrogen to battery electric vehicles, or BEVs, the differences become even more evident. BEVs can be 1.4 to 2.5 times more energy efficient than fuel cell vehicles. This means that while you may save on fuel costs, 
the operational efficiency could still tip the balance in favor of electric vehicles for certain applications. The key takeaway here is that the conversation doesn't end at production costs or even infrastructure. We also have to look at how efficiently that energy is used from the moment it's generated to when it's consumed by the end user. As we move forward, this efficiency factor will play an increasingly pivotal role in shaping the green hydrogen landscape. Number 5, Target Sectors, Where Green Hydrogen Makes Most Sense While the cost and efficiency factors might raise some eyebrows, it's important to remember that green hydrogen has applications where it makes absolute sense, both economically and environmentally. We're talking about sectors that are particularly challenging to electrify directly. These are industrial processes that require high temperatures, as well as long-haul aviation and maritime transport, areas where batteries just can't yet offer the required energy density or quick refueling capabilities. The U.S. Department of Energy has set ambitious targets for green hydrogen, aiming for it to reach cost parity with hydrogen derived from fossil fuels by 2030. This will be especially critical for applications like steel manufacturing, chemical processing, and sectors of the transportation industry that can't be easily electrified. As policy initiatives like the Inflation Reduction Act continue to provide financial incentives for green hydrogen, these traditionally difficult to decarbonize sectors could very well be the first to benefit substantially from this emerging technology. By focusing on these target sectors, we could carve out a niche where green hydrogen not only survives but thrives, forming an integral part of a diversified, resilient, and sustainable energy portfolio. Number 6. Economic Viability – Numbers That Matter While tax incentives and policy support can make green hydrogen more affordable, the economics must eventually stand on their own for a self-sustaining market to form. This brings us to the critical question, can green hydrogen be cost competitive without subsidies? Recent studies and pilot projects have shown that, in some scenarios, green hydrogen could achieve cost parity with grey hydrogen, produced from fossil fuels, by the end of this decade. Technological innovations in electrolyzer design, advancements in renewable energy sources, and economies of scale all contribute to this optimistic outlook. Additionally, it's crucial to consider the total cost of ownership, factoring in not just the production cost but also distribution, infrastructure, and environmental benefits. While it may not be the cheapest option now, green hydrogen offers a long-term solution that aligns with global climate goals, reducing not just operational costs but societal costs as well. For the energy industry stakeholders watching, these developments signify not just an opportunity but an impending transformation. The transition from a carbon-based economy to one that prizes sustainability and low-carbon alternatives is already underway, and green hydrogen is a promising piece of that puzzle. Number 7. The Global Perspective how other countries are investing in green hydrogen. One cannot truly understand the economics of green hydrogen without looking at the global landscape. From Europe to Asia, countries are embracing green hydrogen as a critical element in their energy transition strategies. The European Union, for example, has committed to a hydrogen strategy that aims to generate up to 24% of the continent's energy from hydrogen by 2050. In Asia, Japan is making significant strides, with its basic hydrogen strategy laying the groundwork for extensive hydrogen infrastructure. Let's not forget Australia's Renewable Hydrogen Deployment Plan, aimed at becoming a global leader in renewable hydrogen production, or Chile's national strategy to tap into its abundant renewable resources for hydrogen production. These international commitments are not only a testament to the growing recognition of hydrogen's potential but also serve to accelerate technological advancements and drive down costs globally. Global demand creates global supply, and as these markets mature, the cost of green hydrogen will likely decrease, further emphasizing its role in the global energy mix. For investors and policymakers tuning in, this global momentum presents numerous opportunities for partnerships, investments, and technological exchanges. It's a shared journey toward a more sustainable future, and the United States has the opportunity to lead or, at the very least, to be a significant participant in this global transformation. Number 8. The Road Ahead challenges and opportunities for green hydrogen. While there's much to be optimistic about, it's crucial to address the hurdles that still exist for green hydrogen to become a mainstay in the energy ecosystem. For starters, we must consider the infrastructure. Creating a robust network of pipelines, refueling stations, and storage facilities will require substantial investments. Governments and private sector players must collaborate to tackle these logistical challenges, just as they did for natural gas and oil in the past. Then there's the issue of energy efficiency. The process of converting renewable electricity into green hydrogen and then using it to power vehicles or industrial processes is less efficient than using electricity directly. 
Yet, it's important to note that green hydrogen holds immense potential for sectors that are hard to electrify, like long-haul aviation and certain industrial applications. So, what does the future look like? It's a landscape of both challenges and opportunities. Technological innovations are already on the horizon that could further reduce the cost of electrolyzers, improve energy density, and make hydrogen storage more practical. And let's not forget the potential for new policy initiatives that could provide additional incentives for green hydrogen production and utilization. For those in the renewable energy sector, now is an exciting time to be involved in green hydrogen. Whether you are an investor, a policymaker, or simply an advocate for clean energy, the groundwork is being laid for a transformative energy landscape. Keeping a pulse on this evolving sector is not just strategic, but imperative for a sustainable future. Number 9, Beyond 2030, the long-term vision for green hydrogen. As we look beyond the next decade, the significance of green hydrogen in our energy paradigm could be even more revolutionary. While immediate plans focus on infrastructure and policy, the long-term vision includes potentially groundbreaking technologies like solid-state hydrogen storage and advanced electrolyzers with adaptive load management capabilities. The evolution of smart grids could facilitate the seamless integration of hydrogen production into our energy ecosystem. Imagine a world where excess renewable energy is automatically channeled into green hydrogen production, providing a failsafe against the intermittent nature of solar and wind power. Moreover, international collaborations could yield global hydrogen pipelines, linking continents and diversifying energy portfolios across countries. Initiatives such as the European Green Hydrogen Acceleration Center are already laying the groundwork for what could be a transcontinental green hydrogen economy. Let's also consider the role of consumer behavior and societal values. As awareness about climate change proliferates, we may witness a consumer shift favoring products and services powered by green hydrogen, from transportation to home heating. This consumer push could be the linchpin that accelerates market demand and mass adoption. In summary, the long-term vision for green hydrogen is not just about overcoming current challenges but unlocking future possibilities. It is a vision that aligns with global sustainability goals, promises energy security, and paves the way for technological innovation. If realized, this could be a true game-changer in our fight against climate change. Number 10, Conclusion, The Road Ahead for Green Hydrogen As we've navigated through the intricate landscape of green hydrogen, one thing is abundantly clear, its potential is vast, yet laden with challenges and opportunities. The coming decade will be pivotal in shaping the trajectory of this promising energy vector. Initiatives like the Inflation Reduction Act are commendable first steps but are not the finish line. The need for additional research, technological advancements, and public-private partnerships cannot be overstated. For green hydrogen to transition from a niche solution to a cornerstone of our energy infrastructure, it requires holistic policy measures, infrastructural investments, and most importantly, collective will. In our ongoing quest for cleaner, more sustainable energy options, green hydrogen could be a remarkable ally. But its ultimate success will hinge on how well we, as a society, can align our resources, regulations, and resolve to make it a viable, affordable, and effective solution for the future. Thank you for joining us in this comprehensive look at green hydrogen. For those intrigued to learn more or get involved, stay tuned to ReneeEnergy.com, where we'll continue to explore the exciting frontier of renewable energy technologies. Thank you for staying with us through this in-depth exploration of green hydrogen and its cost dynamics. To recap, while the Inflation Reduction Act has set the stage for a more affordable green hydrogen ecosystem, we are still some way off from it being the silver bullet for all sectors. However, given its unique capabilities, green hydrogen could be a game-changer for industries that are traditionally difficult to electrify. As always, the intersection between policy, innovation, and market forces will dictate the pace at which green hydrogen becomes a cornerstone in our pursuit of a sustainable future. If you found this information helpful and want to stay updated on the latest in renewable energy, don't forget to subscribe to ReneeEnergy.com, your go-to source for everything clean and green. Until next time, take care and let's keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible with renewable energy. Thank you for choosing ReneeEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at ReneeEnergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.